Get ready, guys. Is everybody ready or do you need more time? Can you hear me? Let's put in for network. I hear you. I hear you too. Oh, okay. Me conecté con el teléfono, and I'm not sure if I'm going to like with echo or something. Okay, so send your sentences, please, and be in those examples of chat. Let me take care of them. Let me check them, and I'll let you know. I'm going to give you two more minutes. Thank you, teacher. So I'm reading your sentences, guys, really nice. Uh, Rafael, your examples are really good, really interesting. Uh, and yeah, I think you have never jumped from a bridge. <laughs> so Imelda, I'm checking yours. Oh, they sound really good. You have never been hospitalized. I have gone to a concert. Uh, so Imelda, which concert did you go to? It was when I was a teenager, I go to the Floricienta concert. <laughs> Where did you go? Floricienta concert. No, did you go to Floricienta? <laughs> Wait, are you serious? Oh my God. <laughs> I love this city, uh, Floricienta so much. Did you go here in El Salvador? Yes, I go to the concert. It was my <laughs> dream come true. <laughs> <laughs> no oh my god that that was or that would have been like a disney trip you know <laughs> wow i i still listen to floricienta songs and i still watch the soap opera wow that was amazing you do, you have the, do you have the album teacher no do you remember you know. the album yeah. when you buy the the boat the uh, fichas? I don't know. It's like, yeah, it's like stickers. Oh, it was no, no, no. I didn't know what there is uh, an album. I estuvo, thought you meant the CD. Yeah, but es que estuvo de moda hace bastante cuando también salió lo de lo de fútbol que se recolectaba oh, la fichita. En ese entonces no. también sacaron algo así con floricienta. Wow. No, I didn't know. I didn't know. I never had it. Wow, but I'm like super nice. Okay, good to hear that. 
Guys, tell us about the rest of your experiences. I visit my mom. Uh, Felix, I am reading your first example. I visit my mom during my vacation. I love that, that example. Eh, solo que esto es como una rutina. And uh, normally, present perfect es más como experiencias. Ya, yeah? so cosas que ha hecho y que quizás se repiten o quizás no, you know. But creo que sí va a visitar a su mamá, right? Like, no, regularmente. Este, no, no, eh, se me refiero porque ella vive en Estados Unidos. Entonces no voy regularmente. Oh, ok, ok, amazing. <laughs> I, I, ok, there, because it says during my vacations. So, solamente vamos a cambiar. And it says I visit. Vamos a agregarle I have visited. Yo he visitado. Or I, yeah, I have visited. I have visited my mother during my vacation. Ajá. Uh -huh. Because I visit, entiendo que siempre lo hace. Me da la idea que siempre lo hace. And I have visited, es lo he hecho. No importa si solo es una vez, right? So that sounds okay. Nice. Just check the rest of your examples. Mauricio, I love your examples. Really cool. Um, Andrea, let me check yours. I have thrown <laughs> on my large slide. Okay, okay. Um, Cool. Solo un, le agregamos una N a throw. I have learned to ride a motorcycle. Okay. I have never eaten octopus. I have never gotten on a train. Okay. I have never broken my leg. All right. That sounds really nice. Uh, Judy says, I have visited my family. Judy, where does your, your family live? Uh, in Santa Ana, teacher. Oh, Pero okay. cerca. Oh. Near, I don't know, near Guatemala? No. In El Salvador. No, I mean, uh, you said that no, no viven cerca, they don't live close. So, do they live near Guatemala? Viven mm. cerca de Guatemala? No. So, so. Okay. I have seen my favorite series. I have, okay, ride a bike. Super. Solamente voy a cambiar una palabrita here, que es el verbo. So the past okay. participle should be writing. Lo demás, super good. I have never, I never traveled by train. Okay, and I never traveled to USA. Very good examples. I really like them, Judy. Solo en las últimas dos le vamos a agregar I have. I have never, nunca lo he hecho, right? I have never traveled by train. I have never traveled to the United States. So, para indicar que en mi vida nunca lo he hecho. So, I have never done it. Very yeah, good. Okay. No, 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 I mean, las oraciones están súper bien, pero la idea que me da, I never traveled to the United States. Es como que en el pasado no lo hizo, pero ahora sí. Yeah, okay. entonces es a little different, but good, good examples. Thank um, you. Okay. Okay. So, uh, okay. Menedemo, your... Dígame, Mauricio. Why? Has been in your place. Where? Where? Who? Oh, Gabby. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. What? That's so good. And That's I'm like, Maria, good. where? <laughs> What? No, are you serious? You've been to Niagara Falls? Oh yeah, my God. I went twice. Uh, well, one with my brother and my mom uh, during the day, and the other one with my cousin and her husband, and was during night. So it was really, really awesome because from wow. uh, the side of Canada, they put some LED lights uh, of oh. colors. So it looks beautiful. Really, Girl, really good. you have to share that. <laughs> So you have to share for the photos. Definitely, yes. One of them. Oh, yeah, you said one of them with your mom and with your cousin. Wow, girl, that's amazing. So Carlos says, I have what? So Carlos, you sound like like fine. So you have a reading a motocross through a mountain. Okay. Nice. Guys, solamente no se nos olvide utilizar el verbo, sigo con el keyboard erróneo, sorry, el verbo rhythm para las motocicletas, caballos, motocicletas, bicicletas, vamos a usar rhythm, right? Yo me he montado, yo me he subido. Okay, very nice. 
I have never been uh, in USA or Mexico. Oh, okay, okay. No, I have not been to Mexico. Uh, I have mother, grandfather. Uh, yeah, Ricardo, solo que acabamos de contar de sus experiencias, las cuales estoy segura que tiene mucho. Si me dice, I have a mother, grandfather, and, and uh, y el resto, se entiende súper bien, pero necesito que me cuente experiencias. Ya no es yo tengo, sino yo he. Yo he ido, yo he comido, yo he bebido, right? So estamos contando experiencias. And uh, se puede guiar. So, ah, pues, ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. sí, es que pues, yo entendí que solo era tengo, pero ya yeah, lo entendí. Ah, it changes. Entonces se puede guiar de esto, ¿no? Para que se le sea un poco más fácil. Guíese de esto. Subject. Eh, have, okay. lo cual está, lo, lo, esa parte la hizo súper bien, pero después yo necesito un verbo. En, en el diccionario puede buscar el pasado participio, so the past participle of the verb. So, ya no significa yo tengo, sino yo he, right? Como cuando usted dice, I have driven a cluster. So, yo he manejado, yo he conducido, right? If you want to say, yo he caminado 10 kilómetros, so I have walked, porque voy a utilizar walk de caminar. I have walked 10 kilometers. Entonces son experiencias. Yo estoy segura eh, que usted tiene muchas experiencias que contarnos. Así que intente escribir un par, try to write a couple of them, y si no me dice, acá le damos, no worries. So try yes. to follow this. Mm -hmm. Try to follow this. Uh, yeah. Let me take a look. Um, Carlos says, I have been in Iztalco Volcano. Wow, Carlos, that sounds nice. I have never been to Iztalco, but I want to go. My mother and I have made a piercing together. Wow, Gabby. <laughs> that is amazing. Are you okay? Your mom sounds like a very open woman. <laughs> Super cool. Uh, Angelica says, I have taken two projects at the same time. Oh my goodness, Angelica. <laughs> I have practiced do swimming. Super stress, I imagine. Like a lot of stress <laughs> together. I have never traveled to Argentina. Okay, now neither have I. I have gone to the cinema for vacation. What? Yeah. <laughs> okay, and this I have my ring. vacation. <laughs> heard, oh, okay. But are you on vacation right now? No. No, no. Oh. I'm in the hell of the two projects <laughs> no right now so you're yes. taking that no you've taken two projects okay uh are you an accountant uh, no i am an architect you're an architect oh god <laughs> okay okay enjoy it miss <laughs> thank you wow two projects at the same time is really cool really. But the stress, I, I, I imagine, yeah, I definitely get that. Okay, so perfect, guys. Very good job with your sentences and very nice description of them. Now we are going to practice the following verbs. So here we have some common regular, uh, sorry, irregular verbs, but let's think of mass, guys. I have a couple more for you. So, vamos a revisar el día de ahora 20 verbos solamente. We're going to review 20. Veamos cómo nos va. And then I have some exercises for you. Let's take a look here. Wait. Sorry, give me one second. Because my computer got frozen. Que le pasa mi computadora? Hold on. What's going on with my computer? Oh. oh, what am I doing? That's why. <laughs> Okay, so my bad. <clears throat> so part of the verbs that we are going to be checking, of course, are a little bit more uh, irregular verbs uh, because we have to memorize these, right? So we have additionally to the ones that we had before, we have here break, come, do, drive, drink, eat, go, give, have, no. So, guys, are you doing that super quick? Help me like super quick to get the past participle form of these verbs. So, break. We have break, broke, and broken. broken. Perfect. Broken. Guys, really quick. Give me an example. ¿Qué han quebrado o qué se han quebrado en el cuerpo? What have you broken? The heart. <laughs> Your heart. Your cell phone. Definitely, definitely.
Okay. Glasses. I the glasses. Have broken my teeth. Your, no, your teeth. Okay. Well, my sister did it, did it. Your sister broke your teeth. Yeah. No. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Guys, you must. <laughs> have you ever broken a glass in your house? A plate? Um, a, a cup? ¿Alguna vez han quebrado algo de su casa? A TV, a computer. Yeah. How can you say la vajilla completa? <laughs> all, the, all the silver. You are angel boys. No. Yes. Silver, silverware. Oh my God. Okay. Nada que uno, you know, the whole no, no, no. set. <laughs> Wow, okay. So that is broken. Then we have the following. Con came and? Came. Mm. It's the same. It is the same, but come, exactly. Com. So come, came, and come. Yes. Okay, next one. Do. Do, done. Did. Yes. Done. 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 So I have done. Yo lo he hecho. I have done it. But I haven't done it. All right. Guys, have you done the platform? ¿Ya completaron la plataforma? ¿Have you done the platform? No, teacher. I've done it. I have I done it. Like exactly, that. I have I done it. Do it. And if I want to say the opposite, no le he hecho, I? I haven't done. I haven't done it. There you go. I haven't done it. So we have drive, drive, drive. You, you say haven't done it. It's yes. it. Ah, okay, okay. Haven't I done haven't it. I haven't done it. Yeah, I'm okay. just, solo uno el sonido, exactly. Okay. So then we have drive, drive, drove. Driven. Drove. Close, close, drove. close, close. Drive, Driven. drove, very close. That would be driven. 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 Drive, drove, driven. Yes. Do. Um, do, did. Done. Mm -hmm. No, 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 that's okay. Sometimes me los como, you know, but it's here. <laughs> okay, so dry, drive, and driven. Drink, guys. Drink, drunk. Drunk, drunk. Drunk, drunk. Perfect. Drunk. 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 So, drunk. guys, drunk. tell me, ¿qué es algo like que he bolo. probado? Uh, yeah, but in this sense, es como he tomado, he probado, he bebido. Guys, tell hey. me, ¿qué es algo raro que hayan bebido? What have you drunk? Um, tequila. Okay. Le mandé tequila. That is not weird. Completo, completo. Dígame toda la oración. I have, yo I, se lo reviso. Don't taste good. Don't yeah. taste good. Tequila. Just I mean, eh, ahorita se lo reviso. So I'm give me WhatsApp. some examples. Oh, in WhatsApp. No. Wait, I'm, I'm not in WhatsApp. Give me some minutes, please. So deme la oración completa, guys. I have drunk. Tequila. I have drunk tequila. Okay. And the rest? Que arriba. Que es lo más que han tomado, guys. I Yuri, have drunk, Andrea, Chicha. Uh -huh. Okay. Gracias. Chicha. Delmi. Don't Imelda. taste good. Too. Rum. Rum. Okay. Pero ya pasó eso. Hace Any, 20. Anything. Okay. No sé si es con nosotros que está hablando Ricardo. Probably not. Yes, yes. Oh, oh, sorry. sorry. Pensé, es que vi que estaba viendo hacia atrás o pensé que con su familia. I was like, no, wait. Is no, no me oye. No me okay. oye entonces. ¿Qué es lo que has tomado? <laughs> Why have you drunk? Eh, eso fue hace 20 años. Yo, gracias a dejé de eso, de tomar, gracias a Dios. Oh, ok, ok. So that was in the past. No, but drugs not necessarily is algo malo, right? So it's just drinking, but it experiences like I have drunk a lemonade or I have drunk some coffee, Salvadorian coffee. I don't know. So not necessarily it is related to alcohol, right? Okay. Um, I have already like, drunk salutaris. Exactly. I have already drunk a salutaris. That's a or, issue. That's a issue. Guys, no. have you... Have you ever drunk the, the blue Pepsi? Yes. Yeah. Uh, that's a good. Yeah. 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 Pepsi, good. Coca, Coca. But the, the blue Coca. Pepsi. Don't taste, don't taste good. Blue, blue. I don't blue. like blue Pepsi. Google. Google. It's ugly. Okay. Okay. Ugly. So we have ugly. drink, drunk, drunk, 
The next one that we have is eat. Eat, eat, and? Eating. There we go, eating. thank you so much. Eating or eating, ambas oh. están bien. Both are good. Uh, go, go when? Gone. Perfect. Gone. Gone. Uh, give, give, gave? Mm, close, 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 close. Given. Given, thank you, yes. Have, have? Tecate. Han? Uh, the same, actually. The same. That is the same. Uh, and the last one, uh, no. No, new, and? The yeah, same. Mm. The same, no. guess. No. Le agregamos una N extra, so oh, we're okay. going to add here an extra M, and this is the one. Okay, guys, so very nice. Um, So, these are the ones that we have right here. So, broken, come, done, driven, drunk, eaten, or eaten, or eaten, those are okay. Gone, given, have, and non. Solo le agregamos el sonido extra, right? So, very good job. Ahora, guys, vamos a preguntar. We're going to come up with a couple of questions, but, ¿cómo hacemos las preguntas? How do we ask questions to our partners? Really easy. So I'm going to go with have you. And le pueden agregar ever o no es necesario sometimes. Have you ever, exactly, también se lo puedo quitar. I can delete it, right? Y luego pregunto, utilizo el verbo. Like for example, have you ever broken? Have you ever broken any bone? Bone, no, no, bean. Okay, guys, have you ever broken any bone? Bone, right? Have you ever broken any bone? Your nose, your arm, your wrist. ¿Cómo le respondo? How do I answer this? I have never broke. Uh -huh. Okay, so yes, I have. Yes, I have broken or negative, exactly. So no, I, y lo puedo hacer más corto. No, I haven't. Mm -hmm. No, I haven't, or lo pueden agregar más. No, I haven't. I haven't broken any bone. I haven't broken any part of my body. So yes, I have. No, I haven't. All right, guys. Can you do me a favor super quick here? Podemos escribir cinco preguntas. Can you try to make five questions using this structure, please? Um, I think solo no hagamos preguntas como, ¿te has bañado? <laughs> Have you taken a shower? ¿Has comido? Que es, es demasiado obvio, right? Pero si sí pueden hacer preguntas de experiencias que creen que los compañeros han tenido. ¿Alguna vez has estado en el hospital? Have you ever been at the hospital? Yes. ¿Alguna, yes. Ajá, ¿Alguna vez has, has ido al, uh, no sé? Um, guys, ayúdenme. Have you ever been well, at... Mala. Exactly. Have you ever been to Guatemala? Um, have you ever, you ever got me? Have you ever drunk? Got me? Ah, yes. Have you ever drunk goat milk? Yes, I have. <laughs> when I was a little girl. So when I was a little girl. Okay, guys. Cinco preguntas. No agreguemos el mismo verbo, please. Utilicemos verbos diferentes. Try to write different verbs. Give you some minutes. Oh my God. So, Menedemo no había revisado WhatsApp. I haven't checked WhatsApp, you know. Uh, so I'm like, what? You have a lot of experiences. Super nice. Okay. Super, super nice. So you're a puppeteer. 
Yes. Aprendió a hacer cosas, eh, aprendió a hacer puppeteer. Yes. And can you cook? Wow. Yes. Wow, super nice. Nos tiene que enseñar pictures too. Wow, that's very, very cool. Very good. Very nice. Okay. Compartalo ahí en la pantalla porque lo vean. Oh, they have it in the they have it in what the WhatsApp group. No me van a dejar compartir WhatsApp here. <laughs> <laughs> me van a regañar. <laughs> no, no, but they can read it. They can read it in the group. No, but that is amazing. I'm like super happy for you. You have a lot of abilities. So nice. Really, really nice. Teacher, I put it in the chat. Yes, miss, I'm checking them right now. <laughs> I have never done it. I've never done it last night. All the time. Oh, super nice. Okay. Um, Keep away all my land. Um, I kept away. Mm. Just with this question, have you ever kept awake all night long? Do you mean like que alguien la mantuvo despierta o que usted se desveló? Yes, exactly. Mm. Uh, if you get in, uh, um, how can no desvelo, o sea, amanecer despierta. Yes, yes, I got it. Um, your sentence is okay. Lo que sucede es que el significado puede variar un poquito. If you say, have you ever kept awake all night long? Es como que alguien más eh, no pudo dormir por la culpa de alguien más, you know? Like, for example, los vecinos tenían una fiesta, right? And you couldn't sleep. Um, so, esa es la idea de kept awake, que alguien la mantuvo despierta. And otherwise, si la idea es solo estuvo alguna vez, has estado desvelado, o eh, no has dormido toda la noche, Podemos cambiar esa por bien. Have you ever been awake all night long? So, cambio un poquito el significado, pero no la estructura. The rest are really nice. I really like them. They are very good questions. Um, so, just this word, Panji Jam. Peter, in the, in the first one, I have uh, uh, trouble because in, in accident, I try to say, but I don't have so much vocabulary, but uh, I try to say an accident in a uh, carretera, for example, but I don't know how to say, how to uh, generalizar, because I don't want to say a car accident or a motorcycle accident. No, the point is you have an accident in, in the streets. I don't know how to put in, Exactly that way, exactly that way. So you can say, have you ever gotten or have you ever been? Siempre se puede utilizar been. Have you, or have you ever had? Alguna vez has tenido. Have you ever had an accident on the road? Have you ever had an accident on the street? So road. you can use road or the street. Okay, okay, okay. You don't, you don't um, need Bungie. to. 
bungee jump. Ah, okay, okay. Bungee jumping. So, mm -hmm. uh, yes, it, that's another question. Uh, bungee jumping, it's a word. It's, um, how do you say? It's something that you do. It's not a verb and then mm -hmm. it's a bungee. No, it's mm -mm. all, all, all work. Yeah, it's the sport, the sport in which sport, you jump. Right. Yes, yeah. yes, it's, it's, it's the same. It's the same word. Yeah, uh, I thought that it's first the verb and then the activity, um, but it's I, the same. Actually, well, yeah, actually, se me olvidó I forgot something here. Cause bungee jumping. Sigo con el otro teclado. So bungee jumping lleva un dash. So normally. We got to add, le agregamos como un guioncito. So, ah, okay. eso es la palabra, it's one word. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but in, in this case, it's like you don't have to put in the verb at the first and then the activity. No, it's it's all the opposite because yeah. it's the sport. No, what happens is that, uh, ese es el nombre. That is the name yeah, of the, that, of the activity. It's uh -huh. the number of the activity, yeah. No, yeah. It's, not, it's not a sentence. No es una oración que está diciendo saltar en bonji, no, el no. nombre es salto en bonji. That's correct, yes, that's correct. Let me see, Gaby, let me take a look at yours. Have you ever forgotten your mom's birthday? Yes, I have. Have you and your family made a trip together? Oh, I love that one. Yes, have you ever been operated? Okay, I'm going to check those. Have you ever walked early in the morning in a month? Hmm? Or the beach to see the sunrise. Oh, those are really good sentences, Gabby. Like super cool. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Have you ever drunk gold? Okay. So ahora vamos a hacer preguntas. Uh, so mena demo. We're gonna try to make questions. Si se fijen en el chat, los compañeros han escrito Have you ever? Vamos a hacer preguntas, right? about experiences wow i'm super yeah i i know your job is really hard so um intentemos ahora hacer preguntas try to make a couple of questions y igual las comparte con el chat right eh, rafael let me take a look at yours um have you ever drunk goat milk have you ever driven a trunk have you ever gotten got it gone in a castle uh okay have you ever been to usa has she ever broken her leg? Okay, the sentences, well, the questions are very nice. Eh, solo la última quizás, like, necesitamos el nombre de quién es she. <laughs> has Andrea, has, I don't know, okay. Francisco, uh -huh, but yeah, they are super good. Have you ever been in El Pital? Have you ever drunk a new wine? Have you ever driven a truck? Have you ever eaten sushi? Have you ever learned to swim? Okay. Have you ever stand under a waterfall? All right, very good. Mauricio, eh, solo vamos a cambiar el primer verbo. It's a stand. So, the past participle of stand is stood. So, have you ever stood? Have you ever stood up in uh, under a waterfall? Have you ever gone to Jiquilisco? Have you ever what traveled? Is a teacher? I'm sorry. What is a stood? The past participle of stand. Like, oh, stand up. Oh, I stood up. I have stood up. So the past participle of stand. Um, so like travel. Class? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Tiene otro significado también, but yeah, we can say para Um A travel area, must ed, please. Just add ed. Uh, Carlos, I'm checking yours. Um, oh, okay, very cool. Uh, solo vamos a cambiar algunos verbos, Carlos. <laughs> Have you ever traveled? Le agregamos a D. Have you driven? Le agregamos la N, right? Have you ever um, driven? Aunque en este caso del, del avión sería flown. ¿Alguna vez has volado? Have you ever flown an airplane? Have you ever broken? Right, le agregamos la N too. Have you ever broken something? Have you ever hurt someone by accident? Yes, all the time. <laughs> Very nice questions. Have you ever had a strange animal in your house? Maybe just insects. Ah, and geckos. <laughs> Felix. 
Have you ever gone to El Pital? Okay. Have you been in La Costa del Sol? Have you played in a synthetic soccer field? Have you ever worked in a call? Creería que es call center. Have you ever worked in a concert event? Okay, Felix, solo le agregamos ED al verbo, right? Have you ever worked? Le agregamos ED a work. Uh, okay. Okay, guys, me faltan algunos. I think I'm missing a couple of you, but I really want to go over the practice. So, los podemos terminar en el proceso. No worries about it. Guys, we are going to practice a little bit eh, asking these questions. So, just one more time, revisemos las respuestas. So, um, you can answer, yes, I have, no, I haven't. Y pueden dar más detalles. You can give more details, but in English, please, guys. Let's do that in English. Deme un segundo que no me deja hacer grupos. Deme un momento. Hacer un sesión. Sí. Ahí está. Ok. Ok, guys. And we are going to make a couple of groups so you can practice. Guys, these are experiences. Um, if you don't know, you can just say that. I don't know. I don't remember. Um, I'm not sure, but try to answer all the questions, right? So, entrevistense, guys. Interview each other and let's go. We have 10, 15 minutes to practice. Go, 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 guys. And please take notes. Tome nota porque luego nos van a contar, right? So, take notes because you're going to tell us later. Let's go, guys. <laughs> Angelica, your questions are really nice. Oh, Angelica. Oh, no, yeah, she's here.
Hello guys, and thanks a lot for coming back. Uh, thanks for the sharing a little bit about your experiences. Gracias chicos por compartirnos un poquito de sus experiencias. And I'm pretty sure que no escuchamos todas. Uh, la mayoría no compartió otras experiencias that you may have, but eventually we will try to get as much information as possible. Eh, chicos, solamente eh, antes de terminar, you know, antes de dejarlos ir, me ayuden con su camarita, please. Regálenme confirmación. El día de ahora les voy a estar posteando eh, en la sección número 5 un ejercicio de speaking para que empecemos a grabarnos you know, y empecemos a practicar un poquito la pronunciación. So, eh, solo me ayuden con su camarita un momento y me regalan confirmación, please. So, Ana Mercedes está por acá. No, well, sí, ella sí estaba acá. Eh, Andrea. Teacher, Andrea, está poniendo el internet, creo yo. Eh, sí, cre creería que eh, menciona que estaba trabajando. Thank you for that. Eh, Belén está acá. Yes, teacher, I'm here. Thank you. Carlos, regáleme confirmación, please. Carlos estaba acá. Eh, Hello, teacher, sorry, me levanté a tomar agua. Oh, no worries. Thank you for that. Uh, Felix, regáleme confirmation, please. Present. Thank you. Francisco. Francisco, creo que Present. solo. Es... Thank you so much. Eh, Helen. Acabo de ver a. Yeah, thank you so much. Eh, Imelda. Creo que había Imelda también. Thank you. Arnoldo. Arnoldo is here. Juan Ricardo. Here. Thank you. Kenia Ruiz. Kenia. Tengo dos Kenias, but I'm not sure which one I'm getting. Okay. Uh, so Kenia Sanchez. All right. Okay, so Kenia some seconds ago. Um, Angelica, Angelica sí estaba yeah. acá. The Two Project Girl, Gaby. Present. Thank you, Rafael. Present. Thank you. Uh, Margarita. No veo Margarita ahora. Eh, Rubén. Guys, ven a Rubén. No, right. I don't see Rubén. No. Okay, and uh, Judy. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. And Mauricio. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Guys, me faltó alguien? No me suena alguien? Iris, ya está acá. No, Tell I think me. we got it. Okay. Tell me. Uh, Tell no, me. Yeah, I, I got her. I got it. Thank you. I already got her. All right, guys. So thank you so much for being here. Guys, no se les olvide empezar a trabajar la plataforma, please. Uh, ya les va a aparecer un ejercicio adicional en la parte de abajo del video de la clase número 5 para que se puedan grabar y lo puedan enviar. Because um, that is very important. Necesito escuchar su voz y les voy a mandar también qué es lo que vamos a grabar. Um, el día de ahora, guys, tengo one on one con, um, sí, that's Belen. So, si me regalo un par de minutitos, please. Y los demás, guys, estamos dismissed. Que tengan una super buena noche. See you tomorrow. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye, everybody. Yo lo pido a todos y a todas. Thank you. Good night. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. El exercise en la plataforma, Chico. Sí, ya están los ejercicios. Si gusta, escríbame, Mauricio. So, text me. Okay. Uh, en caso que no pueda ingresar. So, let me know. One second. Deme un minuto, mi solo. Let me just um, clean it up. There we go. Okay. Gracias, Miss. Le voy a robar unos minutitos acá eh, para nuestra sesión one on one. Oh, you got a cat. <laughs> you have to be my daughter, teacher. This is my daughter. That's your daughter. Okay. Oh, I love the the spot that your yeah. the, your cat has in the around the eye. Her so name is Manchi for the Manchas. No, but but that is very I don't know uncommon. I would say so. That's very yes. cool. 
Yeah, all right. So, Miss, normally uh, our one on one session is like to talk to uh, check any topic that you haven't understood or you're having difficulties with. But because we are studying the module, uh, I would like to know like more a little bit about yourself. Uh, I really like so far that you have a lot of questions and you try to um, get clear all your doubts. That's super, super cool. Um, are you planning to go on and teach in English at some point or? Uh, teacher, well, one of my goals, and that's something that I uh, said before in the last one-on-one with the other teacher, is because I tried to get into the call center. I already work in a bank, but it's... Uh, um, since it was I not have, what you wanted. No, since I have 18, I already work in sales, and I don't like it. And yes, God gives me that uh, done. Have you said done? Ability or privilege. Privilege that I'm, I'm good in sales. I, I'm not a uh, complain about it. Mm -hmm. But the point is not something that I really like it. Mm -hmm. um, in, in that point of my life, that I take care of my grandma, I have and I need something that I could be uh, some more stable, 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 stable. And one of my goals is because I want to get into a call center, and then uh, and because I want to like a special specialization because I want to get into like traduce. Uh, traductora. You want to be an interpreter? Yeah, I want to be oh. an like a second work because it's something that I can do it often and and weekends and uh, how do you say fin de semana? Week, week weekends, weekends, yes, weekends. Yes. Okay. Um, but something that maybe it's kind of disappointment. It's because maybe in in the talk about it i don't have so much vocabulary and i already read it because i know that i have to learn more mm -hmm. about the vocabulary is maybe the grammar it's more my my disadvantage um, i don't think so uh, I, I don't think, okay, okay, from, from my perspective, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mention from my perspective, I have worked like around probably five or seven years in call center. Um, so normally what they want is a person who can communicate. You can communicate nicely. I don't think you have problems with grammar. I need to evaluate simple past though, <laughs> but so mm -hmm. far I understand your ideas. I think that you speak clearly um and uh, uh i haven't heard just a couple of things with vocabulary but you will get them with practice but creo que si podemos podemos mejorar i think that we can improve a little bit just a little bit uh con el acento i think that we need to practice a little bit with internet perdón no es el acento es la intonation so um sometimes La pronunciación y la intonación son cosas diferentes. They are like different things. So es como nuestra mus musicalidad, right? Um, and I totally get that part uh, that you want to work in a call center. Y la verdad es que si quieres trabajar en ventas, so you're going to make a lot of money. <laughs> uh, no, commissions are amazing. I don't want to work oh. in sales. Not my point is working in a call center, but for example, in customer, um, service. customer services or something different, but sell is not. Uh, it's only because I don't want to be part of the, um, I know that customer service has, um, como se dice, met metricals? Metrics. Metrics, yeah. All, obviously, every kind of charge have metrics, but in sales is kind of different because in in banks in in the most common works in El Salvador that includes sales, your head it depends on the sales. <laughs> so ah. you don't if you don't if you don't get the the goals, uh -huh. so you don't you get, the bonus. Got you it, get the bonus. You don't get the bonus, or you get off. You get fired. Mm. So. Uh, that's uh, I, I prefer the stability. I prefer my healthy uh, my 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 
¿cómo se dice? Mi salud mental. Mi salud mental. Sí, porque I consider myself that I am a person that is uh, worried about the money. It's important, yes. Yes, it's important, but I consider that we don't have to work in for uh, living for working. Yeah, the thing so. is that at this point, you want stability more than money. So I totally get that. All yeah. right. All right. Um, just a question. Have you ever uh, applied? Have you ever gone to an interview? Yes, but a couple of years ago uh, in teleperformance. And how was that? I could, yes, I get in, but the, oh. the point is, and, and I already, uh, I did the capacitation and at the finish of the capacitation, they get fired. What? Okay. And me, uh, 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 and friend refers to me and he told me that it's like, I don't know, como que, como que alguien obró a mal, digamos, Lord. Oh. para que no pudiera quedar. Entonces, pero yo soy una persona consciente y estoy consciente que a ese punto de mi vida mi inglés no era muy bueno. Entonces oh, okay. no era mi momento. Aún, aún en estos momentos yo sé que yo no aspiro a entrar a un call center como Teleperformance o Telus, that is one of the best ones. Why no, not? Because I, 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 it's not like, um, I don't feel appropriate to that level. Uh, creo, creo, Miss, que no se debería de, de underestimate sí. yourself. <laughs> I sí, think sí. that you communicate nicely. Uh, y lo primero que tiene que hacer es creer en usted, you know? So believe in yourself. I think that your English is good enough. Y, y pues, permíteme, voy a dejar de grabar. 